I would be comfortable with being called a gay, a lezzy, a dyke, a homo, a faggot, but I'm not really into being called bi. The most common misconception about the LGBT community is that it's, it's not stratified. It's not, it's not like a line or a, or a dot on a line. Do you know what I mean? You think of, I think so many people think of it as like straight is on one side, gay is on the other, and you're somewhere in between. I don't think of it like that at all. I think you can pick and choose. I think there's different levels and dimensions of one's gender identity or representation. The, the stereotypes that I'm most uncomfortable with are that we all have these assigned roles, you know? Um, butch, femme, top, bottom, like dom, f um, sub, on and on. I think there's so much more, I mean, I think those are great if you consent, if you take those on, if they're internally yours. For me, I just need more room. There needs to be room to move, to change your mind, to make decisions, and not just have them made for you. My boyfriend is trans. Um, I identify as queer, so does he. And it's not, it's not shocking to me, it's not controversial. It's, it's totally normal for us, you know? He's not the first trans boyfriend that I've had. For our friends and our family members, I don't think anyone sees it as weird. Um, and my boyfriend is such a homo that no one thinks we're, we're straight. Our, our relationship definitely is, is confusing and interesting and weird and totally new to some people in the community. I feel like it's, it's, it's their responsibility to read a book, go to a workshop, join a group, talk about like changing gender dynamics and orientations and expressions. I think it's about comfort levels, like what will you challenge yourself to know what's going on that's maybe outside of your purview. That's where a relationship between like a lesbian queer mo can happen with a trans fag dude and be totally natural and totally like loving and supportive.